Hi, I'm Tracy from Do Yoga With Me. This is a shorter little practice rooted in stillness and movement. How it is that we can find that still quality. Anchor, root, breathe. Enjoy. Let's bring the big toes to a meeting point on the mat. Sliver space between the heels and draw your hands together at your chest. Close your eyes, root your tailbone, lift the crown of the head. Take a deep inhale and open the mouth, make a bit of noise on your exhale. Let it go deep to the belly, at the bottom of the exhale, lift through the lower muscles of the pelvic floor. Take a deep inhale, lift the crown of the head, tether to the sky, lift the ribs, keep the ribs lifted. And the exhale, draw the navel to the back spine, lift up through the low belly muscles. And we'll do that one more time. Big inhale. Tether the crown of the head up while you root the tailbone down. You can feel yourself grow in that lift. And exhale to release. Inhale, open the eyes, flip the arms all the way up. And on the exhale, open your elbows. Dive forward, eyes to your belly. Inhale, come forward through, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant the palms. Step your right leg, your left leg back to a high push-up pose. The breath in, long spine. Lower yourself all the way to the earth. Exhale fully. Untuck your toes. Charge up your legs, fingertips wide. Come forward through, known as a fingertip cobra, but stay to pull the shoulders back. Inhale, look over your right shoulder. Dip your left shoulder to the earth and empty the lungs. Come back through center all the way to the left on the breath. Exhale, dip the right shoulder to the earth. Come back through center, tether the heart, further forward, lower your chest, belly, forehead back down. Plant your palms, curl your toes under, press yourself to tabletop, lift yourself up and back, downward facing dog. One breath in, down dog, lungs empty all the way. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the sky, Bend your knee, rotate your hip open, and anchor your left heel toward the earth. Square your shoulders, extend the reach of the arms to the back of the mat, close the gap of the right heel toward the glute, and take the right knee a little higher. From there, keep yourself in downward facing dog for a few hip circles. So inhale, bring your knee to your nose, stay in dog, exhale, open to the right and back. Inhale, knee to nose, you get to feel the isolation of the hip joint. Exhale, open. And one last time, inhale and exhale. From there, extend your right leg back, square the hips for a moment, and flex your right foot. The space long, open the toes to the right side of the room and keep that right leg at hip height and bring it all the way open. Feel the outer glutes, take one breath. Bring the right leg back, point the toes, find extension. Exhale, place your right foot between your thumbs and touch your back knee down to the earth. Bring your arms up overhead. So yes, we're going to lean quite deeply to the bend of your right knee. Allow the palms to connect overhead at your elbows. Interlace your hands at the base of the skull and open the elbows wide enough that you cannot see them in the periphery of your gaze. Let's untuck the toes of your back foot, lean in to the bend, and then begin to grow the side body where we were earlier. So trust the hands got you because they do. And press your head into those hands and begin to open up your heart. You open up the heart, lean back even more, and Throw that energy up around your throat. And lastly, lift your gaze. You can soften to the front of the left thigh, hip crease. Take one more breath. And then gather your gaze, bring it forward. Bring your arms back up and frame your front foot. Curl your back toes under, lift your back knee, and pull yourself forward and through with a long inhale. Exhale, lift your hips, and allow the belly to rest towards your right thigh. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, forward and through. Exhale, lift your hips and pause. This time, walk your fingertips closer below your shoulders and wiggle your spine long. 
Right big toe mound stays rooted. Left heel gets a little lighter. Left hand slightly wider than your shoulder on purpose. And then peel your right arm out in front so your right arm floats up towards the ceiling. Now lift and open. So as your right hip draws back, you can pull forward, lift up, and glide the right arm up toward the sky. So a big stretch along the outside edge of your right glute. Feel the twist from left to right and enjoy one more breath. So return, right hand to the earth, bend into the right knee, plant your palms, send your right leg up, back, three-legged dog, and again bend the knee, anchor your left heel to the mat. Next exhale, right knee, right upper arm bone, keep your heel high, plug into the core. Inhale, right leg to the ceiling. Exhale, knee to nose. Keep the heel high. Plug back into the core. Inhale, right leg floats up. And exhale to your left. This time, right hand, center of your mat. As you pivot, left foot open. Can you keep the knee lifted? Feel the oblique, left arm. And then slide your right leg out and lift your hips up. Press your right palm down, lift your hips. Lift your left arm, and if it's there, why not? Make it nice and big. One more breath. Left hand to the earth, right knee to your nose. Pause, and this time, allow your right knee to track. And settling in for some deep work in pigeon. So the fingertips and kind of crawl off your mat. And keep the back toes curled under just for a moment. Lift your hips. And when we draw the energy of the knees toward the center line, we want to settle, untuck your back toes, and then allow yourself to puff up your chest, much like a pigeon does. And then crawl your hands forward. So the integration into that offering where we offer the movement to find the stillness and offer the stillness to enhance the movement. You can stay here on forearms. You may creep down to a couple of fists that might hold your forehead. And all of these transitions along the way, you may also extend your arms all the way out in front of you and find full extension. So we're going to be here for a few breaths. I just want you to settle in to how close you are and how rooted you are, how heavy you can actually become toward the mat. And in this place where we have space to take up, not just on our mat but off of our mat, that we have that same space to fill inside of our body with breath. And once you have landed in this place a little closer to the mat, if it is available for you today, I'd like you to open up your arms and take more of a goddess shape here. And there is this gesture where your arms act much like your wings. You come down and there is a heaviness of your hips toward the mat. Take a breath that fills you up along the back side of your body, broad across the low back. Keep the extension of the left foot back, crown of the head forward. And the final variation inside this pigeon pose known as Ekapadaraja Kapotasana is to lift your gaze and slide your right arm out in front. To thread your left arm underneath you quite far. When you get there, turn the left palm open and bring your left ear to the earth. Take your right palm on top of your left palm and keep that energy of the palms pressing down. And in that action of palms pressing down, you can turn your right shoulder toward the sky and let your left ear melt into the mat so yes, you are quite deep here in the piriformis muscle. It hides in the glutes. And you've got a few breaths to just sweeten this release up. So close your eyes. Keep your hands actively pressing down. Keep your right shoulder leaning back. And keep the toenails of your left foot down.
From there, if you are deep inside the twist, unwind right hand, left hand. Plant your palms, curl your back toes under. Lift your back knee and then step back, high push-up pose. So take a breath because our hips are like little storage lockers and flow slowly through your vinyasa all the way to the earth. Untuck your toes, strong legs. Inhale, low cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Take the breath to solidify your base, back on your hands, back on your feet. Inverted V shape, hips to the ceiling, heels to the earth. One cleansing breath. Let your body empty. Inhale, lift your right leg straight up and back. Exhale, bend your knee, rotate the hip open, close the gap of the heel towards your glutes, square your shoulders. Now stay strong and active in the core for three hip circles in dog pose. Inhale, bring your knee to your nose. So the isolation in the hip joint, exhale, open it out and bring it back. So good for us. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Bring it all the way in and roll it all the way open. Now the muscular action behind that to extend the left leg long. Turn the toes open and keeping that leg at hip height, draw it to the left side of the room. Take a breath. Bring the left leg back. Point the toes. Reach for extension. Slowly exhale and step your left foot between your thumbs. Touch your back knee down. Inhale, lift your arms up and overhead until your palms touch. Untuck your back toes, bend your elbows, and interlace your hands the other way. So you've got your head. Let the elbows open wide enough again, and then begin that descent so we have heavy hips that we get to explore. We can press the head into the hands, still pressing the top of your right foot down. Begin to lift through the side ribs, lift up around your chest, open up around your throat, and press your head into your hands until your gaze looks up. Just enjoy the freedom here, the surrendering action of the head held. Yeah, it's held, it's so good. Take one more breath. Bring your gaze softly forward. Release your hands. Now your fingertips down, curl your back toes under and lift your back knee up. Take the breath, pull forward and through. And exhale, draw your left leg towards straight while pulling your hips up and back, rest the belly over your thigh. One more like that. Inhale, pull forward and through. And exhale to lift. Now let's stay. Fingertips under shoulders. Left foot stays plugged in, right heel gets a little higher, and you wiggle yourself back to the body close to parallel of the earth. Right hand slightly wider than your shoulder. Tented fingertips are really nice. To even it out, hug your outer hips in, send your left arm forward, and then spiral your left arm up and open. So turning the action on of your legs, lifting your right inner thigh up, and turning ever so gently from right to left. Take the breath, draw the chin softly in towards your chest. Eyes welcome to go up. Let the outer hips hold you because they will. Enjoy one more breath. And then gently bring your eyes back down. Bend your left knee. Plant your palms. Send your left leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Bend your knee. Open your hips. Second time here on this side. Close the gap. Left heel to glute. Inhale prepares you, that sweet little fire, left knee, left upper arm bone. Keep your heel high. Send it up and back on the breath. Knee to nose, nose to knee, keep the heel high. Last time. Inhale, up you go. And exhale toward the right elbow where you'll stay. Keep it high. Left hand plugs. As you pivot to the outside of your right foot, keep this. Fear the oblique, right arm up and then extend left leg, rolls open, and lift your hips. One breath to experience where the right arm can travel, eyes can lift you up, shoulder blades soften, 
going to gently right hand to the mat, left knee in towards your nose, pigeon bows, left knee to the base of your left wrist. Fingertips come wider, back knee touches down, and begin first by lifting up, toning, squaring your hips, pulling the chest open, untuck your back toes, but firm up the toenails. And then reach to allow your hands to come just down in front. So all of your little stops along the way, if you're happy on forearms and you wish to stay beautiful, please stay. You'd like to bring your fists underneath your forehead and rest here and allow the heaviness still of the right hip flexor. If you have full extension from there, to reach your arms all the way out and in front and allow your forehead to come a little closer down. You're also very welcome to slide a blanket, even a block under your forehead. And then, finally, to take more of that goddess action of the arms. Now, resting in, it's one of those postures for us that really drops us back and brings us back to the parasympathetic nervous system where we are calm, we can recenter. There is power here to be found in the quiet and in the stillness. Going deeper if you would like to. Left hand reaches out and in front. You can lift your chest enough that now thread your right arm underneath you. As your right arm crawls and continues to crawl, you can bring your right ear down. Turn your right palm open. Thread that shoulder all the way under. Take your left hand and lay it right on top of your right hand. It's subtle and yet effective where you press the hands into each other and you roll your left shoulder blade down and you roll your gaze softly up until you feel that left side in the piriformis and you take a few deeper breaths there. On the exit point, unwinding, left hand first. You can bring your right arm all the way out. And both hands back down, back toes curl under. Back knee lifts you up. And you can step all the way back. High push-up pose. Take your breath. Lower your knees. Cross your ankles. Pull over your feet. Turn yourselves around. And lay all the way down onto your mat. When you come to your mat, extend your legs. Take them bigger than your mat. Open your arms. Take them bigger. And create as much space around yourself that you can take. Take one cleansing breath in. Let the belly really puff high to the sky. You can open up your mouth. Moan, groan, sigh. Make some noise. Let it out. And then close your eyes and seal your lips. So there's minimal movement involved to get to this point. You have to hold the stillness for yourself and the quiet. And trust enough to let your body fall right here and be held.
Beginning to take deeper breaths. And to wiggle through your fingers, also through your toes. Stretch your arms up overhead to stretch your legs all the way back. Bend your knees, please. Lay your feet flat. And take your time to roll all the way onto your right. Slowly bring yourself up to find a seat. And you're welcome to sit either cross-legged or on your knees in Varasana. Place the hands just in your lap, your right palm on top of your left palm. And that holds space for you and the gesture and the mouth of Sankulpa, which is an intention that we hold space for ourselves time and time again. And through that opportunity of just creating some movement to recognize the power in the stillness. Bring that back to yourselves. Just thank yourself for rolling out your mat today and taking some time for yourself. Namaste.